Y'all see Gina's thick ass back there? <laughs> she thick, ain't she? Thicker than a snicker, honey. <laughs> Y'all, it has been a beautiful Wednesday. Me and Gina took off today. I had recorded earlier while we was at the gas station, but I'm not even going to upload that little clip. It was only two minutes. So, we just going to start from right here. I'm about to like this here. Anyway, Gina got her car fixed today. She is in happier spirits. Life lesson learned. Okay. For sure. <laughs> she said for sure. But she did get her car fixed today. Um... So we're back on the road more cautiously now. Honestly, I'm going to tell y'all what the fuck happened. Real, real simple and quick. Our city decided that they was going to put these medians on one of the most. We have one, two, three. We have like three main streets. Four. I'll say four. We have like four main streets. Dixie Highway, Shelbyville Road. Broadway and Preston Highway. Okay. Dixie Highway has been one of the most controversial strips. Like for years. For fucking years. So this year they fucking decided to put these Gigantosaurus Great Wall of China medians. In the middle of the fucking road. It was cold. It was raining. And we didn't know that they had fully completed construction all the way to this particular traffic light. Clearly they had. Gina ran into that motherfucker. So yeah. Needless to say, if you watched previous videos, then you know we went to a auto we went to a, a place called Pull Apart to find a rim. The rim was not correct. So Gina had to order it. And today we fully got the car fixed. So she's happy. We're happy. Everything's cool. My pretty little things package came, which I'm about to open and haul for you guys. Because honestly, we're not doing anything again for real, for real until next weekend. Um, we got a Halloween costume party to go to. So this weekend is going to be pretty mellow, which is fine because it's cold as fuck. Like it said, fuck fall, it went straight to winter. So we went to the store after Gina got her car fixed. We went to my mom's house so I could pick up my package before that. And now we're here at the house chilling. Go back to work tomorrow and Friday. And then over the weekend, I think we're going to try to like do some fall cleaning. Or what have you. And we'll go from there. So really quickly before I show y'all what I got from Pretty Little Things. As far as the giveaway goes, the... Um, the big prize, the main prize, the crossbody and the gift card, that giveaway winner did get in contact with me. So uh, I'm going to get that packaged and get that shipped out to you. The second giveaway winner did not get in contact with me. I actually reached out to her, I want to say Sunday night or Monday night, um, just to let her know. And I didn't, I didn't get a response. So I'm just going to do another mini giveaway. Yay! Yes, I'm going to do it again, um, just so that it's fair. And I'll probably add some little additional things to it, because initially it was just like uh, a Michael Kors wallet and a lip gloss. So um, I want to go ahead and let y'all enter this mini little giveaway under this video. Right here, this one, only this one. Um... And it's pretty much the same rules and regulations. Must be a valid subscriber, 18 years or older, have parental consent. It's still U.S. only. Um, international giveaway will be during the holidays at a later date. But this is a U.S. only giveaway, and you just have to comment down below. I will put the question that you have to answer in the description box along with me and Gina's social media in case you want to keep up with us. Hit the bell. Subscribe. And definitely comment, like, and share. Um, again, it's I'm going to end it um, Wednesday. Next Wednesday at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I'm going to give y'all a week to enter. All right. So that's how we're going to do that. And um, I'll come on and announce the winner that following weekend. And we'll go from there. So 
pretty much you can enter to win another prize along with the prize that I was going to give away um excuse me to the second runner up alrighty if anything was unclear about that because I am trying to smoke this blunt I will put it down below in the um, description box but you literally just have to comment down below and I will think of a really good question and put it in the description box for you to answer or I might ask you something that pertains to the channel so just make sure you check that out if you want to enter good luck if you do I hope you guys enjoy it if you don't know what the second runner-up prize was if you watch the giveaway announcements video I showed it um, and I'm not excluding anyone I just want to be fair and do the giveaway over because technically I, I technically choose another winner after 48 hours but because of the theatrics that happened this weekend I really haven't been paying attention to my YouTube for real so I'm just gonna be fair and redo the giveaway entirely but Cheryl your prize you claimed it I'll get it out to you this weekend so be looking out for that next week and yeah that's all I wanted to say on that Y'all wonder why I got this wave cap out. I just woke up and literally threw a hat out. I didn't do shit to my hair. So that's why I look like this. <coughs> Good God. <coughs> do you want this right now? <coughs> Dang. Right? So right? Hey, do you want this right now? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put it out because I didn't hear that. Uh, I want to do some fall festivity type of things. Like, I want to go see some jack-o'-lanterns. I want to go to the pumpkin patch. <coughs> and I don't really do haunted houses. But if I'm, like, drunk enough, I might go do one. We'll see. We still got like two good weekends before Halloween. So we shall see. Just stay tuned. Okay, so I got some fall goodies from Pretty Little Things. And I have to say, I am very impressed with shipping, especially with it coming from the United Kingdom. Um, I ordered this last Friday, and here it is less than a week later. And it's here. So <clears throat> I'm going to show y'all what I got real quick. Uh, I ain't got no scissors on me. Damn it. Hmm? They're starting to give. They starting to have things that come with the The cold. And you can get, if you have. Oh, on the black? On the black and male packs? Oh. Okay. Oh, and um, everyone say congratulations to Gina. She's starting her classes. Yes, today was my, I need to do schoolwork. Yes, hey, she I'm started her that. classes. So, <laughs> yes, darling, yes. Okay, let's just dig in. So, I'm going to start with this first because, yeah, it's right here. Um, I got a two-pack. And I don't know if they're t-shirts or bodysuits. I've could have sworn I was looking in the bodysuit category, but these very well may just be two tops. But it was a two pack. How much I pay for these? It was a two pack for $14.84. And I got this stuff when they was having like 50% off um, the regular price stuff. And I'll share with you what I got on that deal. But these was on clearance, honey. And they are. They're just t-shirts. But they're they're nice. And long sleeve, honey, because it's coat. Um, so, yeah, these are really good layering pieces. Like, if you want to wear them under cardigan sweatshirts. If you just want to throw a blazer or a cardigan on top of them. And I don't... I have plenty of black ones, which I don't know why I got another black one. But it was a two-pack, and I was like, why the fuck not? 
And I don't have any white long sleeve shirts. I think I have like one, maybe two, but I don't know where they are. <clears throat> so yeah, you always need your basic pieces. And for fourteen dollars, I was like, why not? I would pay them near seven ninety at Forever Twenty One. So yeah, got a black one. I was going to get this bralette, but I was like, bitch, it's cold outside. And honestly, I would put it up and forget about it by the time next spring and summer came around. So, I was like, mm -mm. no. I'll just check them out. See what's on trend next year. Okay, what is this? Oh, this I did get for the fall thinking that maybe on like an upper 70 degree night, <laughs> I could wear it out. And it was only $12. Yeah, it was only $12. And it's this cute burnt orange. It says neon orange, but honey, I do not see how this is neon orange. This to me is a really pretty true orange. And it's supposed to be a size 6. Yeah. So, this should probably fit me like real, real snug. Did I get a size 6? No, I got a size 10. Why did I get a size 10? Honestly, that... Okay, so... The outfit I wore to the Indigo concert... To be all the way real... That 6 did fit like super duper... Like snug, bro. I'm not gonna lie. So that very well may be... Why a bitch... Got these... In a size difference <clears throat> it was super sub that six was like super tight i think my stomach was hurting to be honest but anyway <laughs> i got a size 10 so i mean i think it's gonna fit just right honestly if i do decide to wear it anytime soon and shit by the time i wash it a couple of times so yeah, I got this. This was I thought it was twelve dollars. It was twelve dollars. Yeah, twelve seventy two. So that's not bad. Then I got this dress. This is just a jersey v neck long sleeve midi dress. You can always put leggings on underneath them if it's too short, but I think it's gonna come just right at my knee. So, this would be cute with a cardigan or whatever. And this was... <clears throat> this was... What? What is this? This was a size 10 as well. I got everything in a size 10. Because that's 6. It was just... It was comfortable. Like, I could wear it. But it was tight. Like, I damn near... I, it, I'm just... I went two sizes up just to be on the safe side. Okay? Fuck it. Um, so this is cute. It's just a, like a little t-shirt dress. It's going to probably be nice and form fit and real loungy and comfortable. Gray color. It's my shit in the fall and the winter. I love my grays and my blacks. So yeah, I got this. What was it? Yeah, size 10. See? I think, honest to God, though, I really do think I ordered a size 6 in this, but I feel like the UK knew better and gave me a size 10 because that 6 was too damn tight right now. Okay, I'll say that for last. Okay, ooh, I'm excited about these. These are some... These are the paper bag waist. These are the paper bag waist tapered trousers. And I got them in sage green. I don't have any sage green pants. And I was like, hmm, different color. I do like trousers. These are so cute. Oh my god, I can't wait to wear them. They tie in the front. And I love the paper bag waistline like these are gonna be so cute with one of those long sleeve shirts that i got so yeah that's gonna be cute 
It made comfortable. They're real soft. How much was these? <clears throat> these were seven dollars and forty two cents. I'm proud of myself. I learned from Babe. She's a bargain shopper, so she encouraged me to shop on a budget. But you can, you know, you can. I, well, basically, what I did was I got a lot of stuff that was on sale that was like seven dollars, if not no more than ten dollars, so that I could get two really nice pieces for half off, and still kind of I saved like almost forty dollars by doing that. I learned from Babe. She's teaching me, y'all. She's teaching me. <laughs> she in there cracking up. Okay, so I think <clears throat> I want to say the dress and the the um what because what was twelve something? <sighs> okay, so now I take it back. It was the two pack long sleeve shirts. And this puffer jacket that I'm about to show y'all that I got for 50% off. Because they initially wanted 40, $44 for this jacket. And I got it for $22. And then they originally wanted like $24 for that two-pack. And I got them for $14.84. Then everything else was on clearance. So, yeah. I'm excited. They're like, bitch, you need another jacket. Um, yes, because I only have my black baby fat kind of bomber puffer jacket and Bay hates that jacket. <laughs> like, baby fat is coming back, but baby fat ain't coming back. So she like really hates that jacket. No tea, no shade. I mean, I, I've been wearing that jacket since I was what? Damn near 16, 17 years old. Like... I'm whole 30. So, no tea, no shade. But, you know, it's time to evolve. And I got this puffer jacket. Oh, my God. It's giving me, like, so, like, New York vibes right now. With, like, a cute beanie or some shit. Or, like, a black beanie. If I can find a beanie this color. I actually have a hat with a pom-pom on top of it that this that match, would match this. But yeah, that's cool. And they kind of match my oatmeal boots that they got me last year during the holidays. I don't know if y'all remember what they look like. But they got like faux fur around them. Anyway. Bae, he's busy. Can you hand me that shoe? I want to I wanna see something. <clears throat> So, we can't wear Uggs at my job. Yeah, I'm pissed. Um, so, I was like, they had got us matching. We got matching parodies. And so, I was like, these are pretty much the only boots that I'm going to be able to wear to work until I get another pair. So, I have like an oatmeal pair. Don't look at this. Was I not trying to be smart and like coordinate? Look, babe. So uh, yeah, that was a steal, and this is in a size 12, yeah, because I think, I got the outfits in a size 6, one of these I really did get in a size 8, which I think was the dress, and then, their sizing is a little weird, I just kind of pick something in the medium range, like a 6, 8, or 10 will work perfectly regardless, so... That's comparable to a U.S. medium. So that's what I got. But the jacket, I didn't want it to be too tight. Because I was like, a bitch got to zip it. And a bitch like Hannah don't want it to be all tight on her arms either. Because a bitch got to move. Like, my mama hates these jackets though. Because she feels like they don't keep you warm. She's like, what's the point of getting a jacket like that if... It don't cover your whole body. Like. I feel like I want to go skiing. <laughs> it's 
not too tight on my boobs so I can still wear like a nice like sweater underneath it or a long sleeve shirt underneath it or a nice turtleneck underneath it it's not too tight so yeah my arms feel good I did good I be nervous buying clothes y'all from different countries cause I'm not gonna lie sometimes I get my clothes fucked up here in the states cause I do not try on shit I hate trying on clothes my mama used to have to bribe me <laughs> to try on uniform clothes. After this, we gonna go to Wendy's or McDonald's. I was like, yeah, cause I do not. I don't. Mm -mm. I don't know. Like, I like to be naked, but it's something about trying on clothes that bothers me. I don't. I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like. I mean, if anything, I'll just wear it one good time. <laughs> okay, last two things, and I'm going to let y'all go so y'all can finish out y'all week. I hope y'all have a good weekend. Be safe, be warm. I got these two Berry M XXL Lip Plumpers from the That Swell Collection. I got this pinky color called Work. Yeah, it's Work, W-E-R. I got that. Then I got another one. I got to get, like, definitely my lip gloss in twos. Which I already had to, so I was like, I don't like an odd number of three. So, yeah. I know I'm weird. Oh, this one just got glitter in it, so it's like extra glossy. My lips going to be sparkly. This one is in diamond. Yeah. You know everybody gotta have a bitch named Diamond. Honestly, if I had a red nose pit and she was white, that's what I wanted to name her. Diamond. But anyway, Gina don't like big dogs, so we ain't getting no pit. <laughs> She's like, mm. So that's all I got from Pretty Little Things. I wanted to give y'all an update on everything. I'm about to let y'all go. Gina's about to finish cooking, and we probably just gonna have movie night, get ready for work, and we'll see y'all in later videos. Babes, do you want to say anything to the people? Hi, y'all. She said, hey, 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 hi, y'all. Yeah, I be, hey, hey, hey. Thanks for the support. Oh, she said, thank you for the continuous support. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. I'm running the giveaway again for the second item from the initial giveaway. It's a wallet. And um, maybe some other things. Just depends. But um, I'll put all the information down below. Have a good Wednesday. Oh, it's hump day. It's hashtag WCW day. You know, I be doing me in bed like that for WCW day. And then she try to do, be like, I thought about it first. <laughs> and this is my receipt. They just give you a receipt. And I, I know the last time I got like a return. <laughs> like, bitch, you ain't returning this. Normally, they give you, like, a return, um, label. But, I actually still have the same one from the first Jadiction Day. Alright, y'all. Signing off.